potions. They were initially planned by Notch and Jeb to have over 150 combinations, but was ultimately scrapped into 25 different potions with 31 combinations instead. And it's not hard to see why. Not all potions are created equal. Which potion do you use more frequently than others? Which potion is so game-breaking that it should be illegal for making the game too easy? And which potions are so awful that it should be illegal for simply existing? Well, my friend, welcome back to the channel! And to celebrate Halloween, we will be ranking every brewable potion in the game. Similar to the food ranking, these potions will be ranked by usefulness first, coolness second, how easy they are to brew third, and finally, they'll be judged based on vibes. If my opinions aren't the same as yours, they are now. Potions of Swiftness. These things make you 20% faster, 40% if you add glowstone. This includes walking, mining, swimming, and talking. They turn you into XQC and make you speak incoherently fast. No, 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 yeah, yeah, I've I've heard that, but I, I, I seen some of these documentaries. I'm none of that. Hey, the game government and no one in the mass sample. No, give my 3D. I have no idea what the <laughs> fuck you're saying right now. <laughs> Making your words impossible to subtitle. You can combine these with Dolphin's Grace, Depth Strider, and Soul Speed to go really fast. Needless to say, they're very useful and very cool. Their recipe requires sugar, making swiftness potions the easiest to brew in the game. And I presume that drinking these will be like drinking sugar water in real life. Which tastes... Alright, I vibe with it. Easy A tier, starting off strong. Potion of Strength. This is a potion that should be illegal. It's literally steroids, so it's a drug. It should also be illegal for turning any fight in the game into a complete joke. And the dragon, super easy. Iron golems, not a problem. Wither, absolute cakewalk. It also makes fights against other players completely unfair. The mere possibility of you having this potion is enough to scare your opponents away. That's how scary this potion is. You could say that getting blaze powder could be difficult, but if you made a brewing stand, you can probably afford a few blaze powder. Potion of strength is our first S tier. They make Minecraft practically no different than peaceful mode. That's illegal. Potion of Leaping You know how they say to have the highs in life, you have to go through all the lows? After the euphoric high of taking steroids, we now hit rock bottom in terms of potion quality. To put it lightly, Potion of Leaping makes me want to leap off a cliff. I remember making a beacon in my first survival world and setting Jump 2 as the power up. And it was at this moment I knew I f***ed up. It makes walking on unsmooth terrain slower because jumps are now favoured to be higher rather than further. In other words, it's really useless, and if anything, it actually makes things harder for you. Oh, but don't worry my friend, because it reduces 4 damage by half a heart and 1 heart if you upgrade it. So you go from 22 as the maximum 4 height to 24. Adding insult to injury, they require rabbit's foot to be brewed, which is a rare drop of a rare mob. So it's not useful, not that cool, and one of the harder potions to brew. But maybe they'll vibe well. <coughs> D tier, worst potion in the game. Don't you even brew it, it's not worth it. Potion of Slowness. This potion is meh. I was gonna put them in the C tier, but then I remembered all those times I fought witches and I remembered how annoying Potion of Slowness was. It makes the Potion of Poison unavoidable and it makes you more vulnerable to attacks from other mobs. You also have strays which use slowness arrows, but no one remembers these mobs. When I mention stray, you don't think of this hobo looking ass bone dude. You think of the cute cat game. Regardless, slowness potions are mostly useful when used on people. It makes people unable to avoid me when I ask them to hit the like button on this video so that more people can see it. It makes landing crits easier for you and harder for them. And given that it's made by corrupting a potion of swiftness, it remains relatively easy to brew. So it gets a B for break because you're essentially breaking your enemy's kneecaps for a few minutes, rendering them much easier to be killed painfully by you. Potion of Night Vision Not gonna lie, the Night Vision potion is kind of a bitch potion. It's for people who are too lazy to set the brightness on their settings high, but aren't lazy enough to brew a Night Vision potion. It's for people who don't want to take Potion of Strength because it's steroids, and steroids are drugs. But they would gladly get darkness from a warden and then drink a Night Vision potion to trip their balls off. And I kind of vibe with it. I strive to achieve this level of mediocre laziness. However, there are two main reasons that keep them away from the A tier. First of all, night vision potion still doesn't allow you to see through lava. Every time I swim through lava, as real people do in real life, I'm blinded by big red shit. 
I was hoping they allow you to see through lava by the nether update, but they didn't add it unfortunately. Second of all, my Minecraft girlfriend should never be allowed to drink a night vision potion. What do you need night vision for? So you can see other men? That's gay! That's my job! Thus, the night vision potion gets a B. For bisexual. Potion of invisibility. In really niche situations, invisibility potions really shines. In PvP situations where you're outnumbered, having this potion could be a big advantage by confusing your enemies as to who is who. However, can we take a moment to talk about the inconsistency in this potion? If you corrupt the potion of swiftness, you get slowness. Corrupting a strength potion gives you a weakness potion. Corrupt instant health and you get instant damage. Corrupting a night vision gives you invisibility? Is it like one makes you see better at night but the other makes you not see at all? Huh? Shouldn't this recipe have given you potion of blindness then? False advertising. Potion of invis gets minus 10 points for being disingenuous. But it doesn't stop there. Potion of invis makes you invisible but it only makes you invisible. So you'd have to be fully naked in order to use this potion effectively. You also can't hold any item because that would instantly give you away. You also can't have been hit by arrows recently because, well, that's pretty suspicious. Really good use brought down by its major weaknesses. Invis potion gets a B for bruh. Potion of weakness. If potion of night vision is the bitch potion, then potion of weakness is the lazy potion. If potion of night vision is for people who put milk first and then cereal, Potion of Weakness is for people who eat cereal straight out of the box. They are for people who want easy resources from zombie curing. They are for people who don't want to hit a big red button that allows them to get entertaining educational content about Minecraft. They are for people who just don't want to play the game. So you can just sit back and contemplate the finiteness of existence. How are you doing by the way? Isn't it odd how we are but a speck in the grand scheme of things? But a small little action of ours could have butterfly effects and snowball into bigger reactions. Like how the simple gesture of asking if someone's okay or showing concern to them could potentially change the stories of multiple people. What if our action was big enough? What if we made an action so big it changed the course of the entire universe such that it would never be the same? If our actions changed the universe this much, aren't we playing God to some extent? Well that's a thought for another day. Easy A tier because of their use for curing zombie villages while also being the fastest potion to be brewed. Potion of Water Breathing. It does exactly what it says, allowing you to breathe underwater. And it does it really well. But even just drinking these potions make me feel boring. Enchant your armor with respiration. Create your own air pockets. Bring your magma block and hold down shift so you don't take burn damage. Use a door and waterlog a safe zone. There are so many more creative ways to venture the underwater and all of them sound way more interesting than drinking Mrs. Puff bath water. If water breathing potion was ice cream, it'd be vanilla. If water breathing potion was a coffee, it'd be a Starbucks frappuccino. If water breathing potion was an anime protagonist, he'd be Monkey D. Luffy of Death Note. Water breathing gets a B for boring. Potion of fire resistance. Now we're getting into the good stuff. The most overused potion in the entire game. They're as overused as this song in Minecraft videos. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Is there any other potion that turns a game feature into a complete joke for 8 full minutes? because that's exactly what the fire resistance potion does. It makes you absolutely immune to all fire damage. This includes fire, lava, magma blocks, and getting roasted. For 8 full minutes, you can farm all the blade swords you want with absolutely zero damage taken in return. And you can't tell me that swimming in lava doesn't look cool as hell. Fire resist is the second S tier in the list, baby. Even above strength, they're just that broken. Potion of regeneration. When I first played Minecraft, my expectations of this potion were like this.
But in reality, they're like this. Pretty underwhelming if you ask me. So they're useful, but not too useful in a sense. They also require gas tear, which like, ew. I'm literally drinking the tears of whatever the hell tentacle monster the gas is. This is like the start of a hentai plot. They're the same as water breathing. They make me feel boring just by drinking them. It's like, I don't know, if you want the regeneration, foods exist. And also, golden apples exist, which are stackable and debatably easier to make. So the regeneration gets a B for better, because there's a better version of them. Potion of healing. The better version of potion of regeneration. More situations where it's useful, cooler effects. Absolutely broken against undead mobs, Wither and Warden included. Correction, Warden doesn't actually take damage. Easier to brew and I don't need to cringe at the thought of drinking hentai serum tear juice when I'm busy choking at a massive golden watermelon. And what's cooler, a guy slowly regenerating his wounds and slowly fixing all the damage you did to him, or a guy whose wounds instantly close up and instantly regenerate from all the damage you did. This one's a no-brainer. Easy, easy, A tier. Potion of Poison. These are just... meh. They are brought down by the fact that they are useless against undead mobs, both spiders and ender dragons, and less effective against witches. I eat puffer fishes for breakfast, sonny! Poison is just too hard nerfed. They are too cringe. Too beta. There are no Pepega, Cat Gem, Cake W, LOL W, Base, Red Pill, Big W. Wow, I really just wrote that? They are like status effects in RPGs. Useless against every boss and worth too much effort to use against regular mobs. So that leaves PvP, which they're absolutely broken. Until you realize that they can be cured by milk and honey bottles. So they're actually super broken if the opponent doesn't have any cures, or completely useless if the player has either one of them. This means they're not that useful, but they're still pretty decent on tipped arrows and are still pretty cool. They get a B, because once again, the instant version of them is just better. Potion of Harming. Fuck Potion of Poison. This is what you should be making. Take that stupid spider eye and ferment it into this penis tip looking ass. The potion of harming will damage 3 or 6 health. Will damage. It will do that amount no matter what. Bypassing every tier of armor, bypassing shields, only being reducible by protection enchantments and resistance effects. Making this potion even more dangerous than any weapon the game has to provide. Tip these things on your arrow and you'll be slaying non-undead mobs like they're absolutely nothing. Or even better, just throw lingering potions of this and your enemies are in for a ton of pain. The only thing keeping them from hitting Astir is the fact that they are a double-edged sword. They are prone to friendly fire and are thus awful in teamfights. But they sit comfortably at the top of A tier. Potion of Turtle Master. Look, I'm gonna be honest. I completely forgot these potions existed. But from what I remembered, these things suck. It slows you to a crawl and make you take pretty much zero damage. But at that point, I don't know, you might as well just use a potion of weakness or eat a golden apple. Potions of Turtle Master also requires a turtle shell as its recipe. You are quite literally drinking liquidized turtle shell. We drink puffer fish stew, gold carrot juice, and whatever the hell magma cream is. At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. But out of all of them, Gas Tear and Turtle Shell are the ones that disgust me the most. It brings me great pleasure to say, the Turtle Shell belongs in the sea. Yuck. And finally, Potions of Slow Falling. These potions have one use. They are useful when you fight the Ender Dragon for the first time. And that's it. Of course, water buckets exist, so uh, for something that's added pretty recently into the game, it sure got instantly power creeped. So they belong in C tier, with the other below average portions. Every time I drink these, I'm just left with the painful reminder that phantoms exist in the game. And after all the research I've gone through in the previous video, phantoms remind me that mod votes still exist and they're slowly killing the game. And if you want my explanation on how they're killing Minecraft, then check out this video where I explain it in great detail.